Oh my god, this feels so good. I'm on my way to the new place. This is like me moving next step. The other felt place felt temporary and dark and not even though I'm in Sedona, not inspiring. And I'm going to my next place. It's not even it's 720. I can have access at 7.30 to go check it out. I'm sure it's gonna work out because I'm excited to be there. So I got my things in the in the truck. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go back because I'm just gonna empty the fridge. So I just didn't fit the cooler because I didn't pack things in the roof box or anything. I'm 10 minutes away. And uh, I also found some water toys um, by the creek when I got here last week, <laughs> just last week. And uh, so they don't fit either because they're all inflated. So I'm gonna take a second trip, but now I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna go see the place where I think that <sighs> things are gonna happen. I know it's putting a lot into a place, but whew, I have a good feeling. I hope it's real. Show you soon. Good morning. So this is my first morning exploring my new backyard. Yeah, there's no official trail, so I'm following an arroyo seco and see where it leads. At some point, it's supposed to lead to existing trails. A um, couple things. So this morning, first night, I feel very safe in this location. It's really nice. Um, the bed is way too soft and bad for my back. I'll figure something out. Um, before I left for the hike this morning, it's funny because I was in the house and I prepared because when I was at the other place, I had to drive to the trailheads. So I was in the house and I prepared my bag to bring in the car. <laughs> and then it was like, oh wait, I'm putting my shoes on and preparing my things here because I don't have to drive. So that's kind of funny. The funny, not funny, but I'm working on just going with life and not fi fighting it. The neighbor who was meant to, who told me that he was leaving for the entire summer, he's been waiting for Mason to redo all kinds of stonework around this house and dig and put new posts and everything. He's been waiting for them for two years. And yesterday they told him they could start this morning. <laughs> and they start at 6 a.m. with all of the noise and there's, it's supposed to be for a few weeks. So. That's interesting. That's kind of my meditation yoga time, but I'm still, I'm really happy. The house, I've got a little bit of allergies in there because of all the old wood. It's like being in an old chalet, but um, I'm going to make it work. I got some incense and some sage and some essential oils, and I'm going to rub all that old wood inside the cabinets just to kind of freshen things up. And it's glorious. It's glorious. And I, the neighbor hooked me up with a handyman that's gonna do something special for me that I really want. A quick little project next week. And I'll share that with you uh, when it happens. So one of the reasons that I am accepting being kind of mellow about the fact that there's construction next door um, is a couple things. First, of course, all the stuff listening to Kyle that is precious precious food and fuel for my soul these days always since I cross paths with his material and uh, second it's kind of with the I've been reading a little bit more of the Michael Singer the surrender experiment and just like it's a little bit also like Yes Man with Jim Carrey, right? You just say yes to whatever presents itself. So I'm opening up to just saying, oh, life is putting some construction next door to me from this quiet, quiet, peaceful house first morning. And it's like, okay, don't fight it. Just go with it and stay positive. So... That's how I'm finding this little place of wisdom and, surround and surrender in me. So that's where I'm finding my little piece. Ooh, there's a trail starting here. 
that's how I'm finding I was saying my little piece of surrender and wisdom in me awakening my wisdom that sounds great so I followed that Arroyo Seco, which became kind of nothing, and I scrambled a little bit up a knoll or a hill or something high up. And this is where I ended up. That's like 30 minutes hiking in my backyard. Stunning. Oh my goodness. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'll find my groove with the construction, with everything. I mean, this is what I was hoping for. I'm so happy. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, my higher self. Thank you, my little self for for still allowing me to hear the guidance. It was a little bit of a struggle, but I got to where I really felt I was being called to. So all parts of me, the growing and the small and all of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>